A Silent Trust, Final Chapter, Chapter 6 The next time you opened your eyes, all you could see was white. Your thoughts, no, you've got to be freaking kidding me, I can't be dead. But after you looked around, you realized you were in a hospital room. You tried sitting up, only to feel a searing pain in your stomach. Looking down, you saw your abdomen covered in a tan-colored wrap. Beside you, Neji said, Be careful, your wound hasn't fully healed yet. You moved yourself into a sitting position. I noticed. How long have I been here? Neji said, Only a couple of days. You would have been awake earlier, but they gave you pain meds to help you sleep. He moved his hand over, lacing his fingers with yours. You looked up to him to see him smiling. He was actually smiling. A little later, a nurse came into the room to check on you. She read your clipboard and scribbled a few things. The nurse said, Well, as long as you're careful, you can leave today. You nodded to her. And since the songman assigned you out, you will be staying with him. I would like to get changed. Neji kissed your forehead and gave a slight bow to the nurse before leaving the room. The nurse helped you get dressed and walk to the door. Once you were past the door, Neji was at your side, his arm around your waist. The nurse said, I'll leave them in your care now. She nodded to you and walked down the hall. You were about to ask Neji something when he swung you into his arms. Hey, I can still walk, I'm not that injured. Neji said, You seem to be having a lot of trouble with it. Plus, I'd rather you let me carry you instead. You sighed, but smiled. Fine. Neji carried you to the Hyuga Mansion, letting you down only after you made it to his room. You hadn't been in there long before Hinata came in and told you it was time for supper. Neji helped you down the stairs and to the table. You had all just finished eating when Neji stood up, saying he had an announcement. I'm gonna stop the... I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to tell you guys why. So Neji goes on to basically say everybody knows what's been going on and um, everybody just so happened to know that uh, he's loved you all along and he's going to propose. And you say yes, clearly, but um, I just don't think it makes a lot of sense i think it was really really rushed and <sighs> i mean can i really judge this isn't my work and i was lazy enough to read it but um i really feel like it should not have ended like this it could have ended in this chapter but i don't think it should have ended like this Maybe they could have added an epilogue. This could have been an epilogue, you guys. Like, it would make more sense if it was an epilogue. Fast forward a few months, you know? Um, you guys, that would make so much more sense. But it's, like, right after you guys get back from the mission. Like, you guys hated each other, like, not two episodes. Like, not two chapters ago, you know? Like, anyways, um... If you guys would like to finish and read the story yourself, um, the link is going to be in the description, as it always is. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for making it so short, but yeah. Have an amazing morning, have an amazing afternoon, have an amazing evening, whenever you are. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with um, another fanfiction. Goodbye, everyone.